Alright, so I got my cliff bar out. And uh, he has decided... <laughs> he's decided he can cooperate now. Oh, oh, we're going to bark, huh? Do you want some of this? Do you want that? He'll jump and get it through. You can't have it. You can have the last piece. Look at him. Look at him. He's going to eat me. Huh? Oh, you're sitting all nice and pretty now. Now you'll now you'll cooperate, right? Let's try it again. One bark for Tampa, eleven barks. No, excuse me, oh my god. One bark for Montreal. Two barks. For Tampa. You got you still got nothing. You want the thing or what? You're gonna get the last piece. Speak. Man, jeez. This dog must be a Capricorn. Oh, no, 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 I got two of them. <laughs> He's watching my own. Ah! Uh-oh. I'm being chased. I'm like Jaws. He's chasing me into the deeper water now. All right, let me eat it, and I'll give you the last bite, okay? All right. All right, all right, Stanley Cup Finals, game one. Game one, Montreal in seven, Habs in seven, not even joking around with that, all right? And I know the Lightning fans pretty much feel like, you know, they're going to win this thing in five, but if you want to, if you want to undersell, if you want to undersell the, the Canadians, if you want to do that, be my guest, all right? The difference in this series here, to, 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 to the, okay, not Carey Price, not Andre Vasilevsky. What I mean is both of those guys are going to be evenly, ridiculously good, all right? You go back, you look at their numbers. Uh, Price has like eight more games playoff-wise than Vasilevsky over their careers. The numbers are ridiculously similar. Cole Caulfield, however, however, he doesn't know what he doesn't know yet, all right? This is like, just like the kid that you finally let him... Like, okay, kid, push the grocery cart. And he's running all over the place, you know, just throwing everything into the cart. He's got fresh legs. He's got that youthful exuberance. And I don't think Tampa Bay is going to have an answer for him. I, I really don't. I could be wrong. I've been known to be wrong on occasion. But I think Cole Caulfield is going to make the difference in this series. I know that that's crazy. I know. But I think it can happen. Now, what does Montreal need to do to win this series? Pound them, pound them, hit after hit after hit after hit. Any chance you get to take an even semi-legal hit, you do it, all right? If the puck goes in the corner, beat the crap out of the guy. If Tampa Bay gets the puck, beat the crap out of the guy. You see what I'm saying? Constant, constant physicality. Not like some of the time like the Islanders did, but the entire 60 minutes. Montreal has the mentality to do it. Jake Evans may be back tonight. Armia and him are day-to-day. -day. Obviously, if Armia comes in, I think Evans is not. But it looks like Evans, at least at some point, may get back on the ice, and that would be really good to see. As far as Tampa Bay, what do they need to do? Well, I think, you know, I know Montreal's penalty kill has been better in the playoffs, but during the regular season, it wasn't great. It wasn't bad, but it was a little bit below average. I'm sure Tampa Bay is going to be trying to play that edgy game to get themselves on the power play, and if they have success, look for that, that to continue. I don't really think Montreal is going to come in and win game one in Tampa. I would be surprised if that happens, but I do think they can split. I think they win game two in Tampa. It gives them some momentum going into Montreal. Let's do this. Let's do this. Montreal in seven. Game seven. Cole Caulfield, double overtime winner. <laughs> that would be great. That would be fantastic. And I know you Lightning fans think I'm crazy, but I don't care. Well, what else are we going to do? It's going to be July, and we're going to have hockey, all right? Nothing makes sense anymore. All right, Montreal. Let's do this. All right, so it's one nothing Tampa Bay after one. The Montreal came out. Looking like they were playing the right way, and they still are banging everything that moves, hitting bodies, and I love to see it. Couple of things that I'm seeing here, though. Look, first of all, the, the Tampa Bay goal was a direct result of what I'm about to say. The puck needs to come off of your sticks a little bit quicker here, Montreal. All right, in the offensive zone, 
you need to take a few more shots but if you're gonna pass those passes need to be quick you've got a little bit of space there Tampa Bay is not quite you know coming after you immediately when you've got the puck but you're waiting too long in between the, the passes point blocks the pass with the stick takes it the other way and boom it's in the back of the net and there was nothing the price could do and it happened a couple of other times there where Montreal's being a little bit indecisive with whether or not they want to shoot the puck or do these cross ice passes and trust me I know what I'm talking about because this is what Florida did alright if you're going to do those cross ice passes they better be quick and on point or Tampa Bay is going to get their sticks in the lanes, they're going to turn around and put it in the back of the net. I guarantee you I know what I'm talking about with that. Alright? It's one nothing, and then the power play. Montreal gets a weak call, they get the power play, and they don't do anything. And then Chariot just takes an absolutely stupid, stupid, stupid penalty in front of the net on Kucherov. And just like right in front of the referee, I mean, he's like looking right at the referee and says, hey, bah, and pops Kucherov in the back of the head with his stick. Stupid. <sighs> Got to stay out of the box because if you saw Tampa Bay set up there in the power play, it don't look so good because they're just leaving Kucherov all by himself to just stand there and take that one-timer. Montreal's got to kill it off at the end of the, uh, at the start of their second period here. Breathe, Montreal. Breathe, all right? Just keep hitting people and get that puck off your stick just a little bit quicker. And this, Florida Panther fans, is what happens when your goalie in the playoffs makes the big saves at the key times to keep you in the game. It's 2-1 Tampa after 2. It could easily be 5 what did, I, did I say 2 nothing? It's 2-1. It could easily be 5, at least 5. Carey Price has been absolutely insane. Vasilevsky's been good, but he hasn't had to have been great like Price has been. All right, Montreal, look, like I said, I wasn't, like, big on you winning this game. I'm more concerned with game two. But you have this one that's possible here, okay? Get things settled down a little bit. Keep, hit, keep hitting people, number one. Number two, and look, you're giving Tampa Bay too much damn room when they've got the puck. As soon as they puck, as soon as the puck is moving, you have to have a guy on them. All right, you're playing close, but you're not playing the way that you have. All right, this this is not Toronto, and this sure as hell ain't Vegas. All right, anything you do wrong, Tampa Bay is going to find a way to get it in the back of the net and make you pay. Get this sucker to overtime. Let's let's make Tampa Bay work here a little bit, all right? It's been looking like it easily could have been 5 nothing. Carey Price has kept you in it. What the hell? Let's make a game of it, guys. Let's go on a third period and see if we can get the period four. All right, I still say, I still say Montreal in seven. <laughs> uh, don't ask me why. That's just what I'm saying. All right, so look, a couple of things. Obviously, it got a little loose. It got a little uh, hectic there towards the end of the third period. I have to say, there was a couple of slashes that they showed on Kucherov that, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, well, that's hockey. You know, if you're going to do stuff like that, you piss them off. You see what happened there. Uh, Tampa gets the goal at the end uh, when they, they weren't exactly letting off, you know, letting up, you know what I mean? What did Montreal learn tonight? Well, they learned this isn't Vegas, this isn't Toronto, okay? This is a completely different animal they're playing. And they kind of, it was, it was not as close as the score, obviously, at 2-1. It was Carey Price keeping them in the game, and then Tampa blew this thing open in the, in, in the third period, obviously, like I said in my preview, like I said in the pregame, everything in the head, everything on the paper, everything tells you that this is going to be a Tampa Bay victory in this series, but I would like to see it happen otherwise. What the hell can Montreal do? Well, a couple of things. First of all, 
you, you, you're going to have to realize that the level of play, as, as well as you've been playing, isn't going to cut it against Tampa. These guys are too good. They're too good up and down the lineup, offense, defense, goaltending. You know, how many times have we seen it where, you know, a, a team is attempting to come back against Tampa and they get like a 2-on-1 or a 1-on-0, -on and that's when Vasilevsky always slams the door and, and, and keeps Tampa's lead. I may be wishful thinking, thinking that Montreal is going to win this series, but as long as they're playing the games... I think what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to continue to be rough with them, okay? Continue to hit them, continue to be rough. But they're going to have to play more tenacious, especially in the offensive zone. I saw way too much on call a lally gagging, but they weren't moving the puck as crisp as they need to and as quickly as they need to, all right? The puck needs to be boom, 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 and... There's the shot, okay? You see that, that what's, that's what Tampa does, right? Tampa pus, passes that puck back and forth so fast. How many times you see the goaltender? They, they don't even know where the hell the shot's coming from, and by the time the shot does come, the goaltender's still moving the other direction from thinking it was coming from somewhere else. And obviously Montreal isn't going to suddenly become Tampa, but they have the goaltending to keep them, you know, to keep them in this series, to keep them in these games, as you saw today. So on offense, the you know, they're just going to have to start moving that puck a little bit quicker. And defensively, they're going to have to, you know, be on the man as soon, I mean, hell, just, just leave a half second early. As soon as the puck is getting to a Tampa Bay guy, you know, Montreal's got to have a man on them and force Tampa's rhythm to be as disrupted as it possibly can. You know what I mean? It may, like I said, it may be wishful thinking. But, but the last thing I'll say is, look, uh, you know, Colorado thought they had the series won, okay? And, you know, against Vegas, Vegas, Vegas beat... Montreal on game one in much the same fashion as Tampa did tonight. We looked at the game and you thought, that's it, is over. I don't see how the hell Montreal is going to win a game. So I know Lightning fans are going to be confident. They won the cup and all of that. But what I'll say to Habs fans is don't forget what you just did against Vegas. Look at game one against Vegas. It looked for sure like you guys were toast. And then you were able to shut Vegas down the rest of the way. So, all right, that's enough for that. I appreciate everybody. Like, share, subscribe. Lots of new subscribers. For everybody who's new to the channel, yes, I'm the Panther guy, but it's not just Panther videos. Obviously, I do NHL stuff. I do all the Panther games, and I also do football videos as well. And then next year, I'll be doing recaps for hockey games when it's not the Panthers. So, a lot of different stuff coming, so it's not just Panther content. I just happen to be the Panther guy, and I'm too poor to buy a jersey for every team like the hockey guy. But we'll, we'll get there. I only need another 185,000 subscribers to get right around where he is. <laughs> That's all. That's all. It shouldn't be so hard, right? Uh, I think Montreal has a better chance of winning the Cup uh, than that of happening, uh, you know, this year, <laughs> this year, this millennia, I'll get there. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Multiple videos tomorrow. I want to make a video about um, the the NHL moving the, the outdoor games and all of this because they've got in the All-Star game, it gets taken away from, from, from Florida, and it's going to be played in Vegas. I, I want to do the research. I want to know what the hell the reason is. Um, and then I also have Ask Jaws coming out tomorrow. Hashtag Ask Jaws. And then the live stream and then the recap. So that would be four. That would be four. Hopefully. No, actually, wait a minute. What am I talking about? I'm so used to there being hockey every night that I have forgotten that I have tomorrow night off. The games are every other day, you idiot. Okay, so there will not be a live stream and a recap tomorrow because there's no hockey tomorrow. So it's just two videos. So I'm actually off tomorrow night. So maybe I'll, I don't know, I'll watch a movie and, and have some fun. You see what I'm saying? All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.